Today I'm going to show you the FET Interactive Simulations program. Uh, in this particular case, we're going to be looking at the Waves intro. So with our Waves intro, you have three options. You can check out the water, the sound, or the light. For purposes today, I am going to be studying the water waves intro. So when you click on the simulator, you have a few options here. Uh, as you can see over on the bottom here, I can um, select a top view, a side view. I can uh, decide if I want my faucet here to only run when I click on the on off button, or if I want my faucet to run continuously. You can also select the speed, normal and slow. And then over here on the right hand side, I have uh, three different tools that can be used for this simulator. I also have frequency and amplitude. So if we turn on our simulator, I'm just going to click on this little green button. You can see that I have a little drip that starts falling in to my little bit of water. Like I said, you can change the view so students can get a different idea of how things would like. I actually prefer the side view, especially when you're talking about wavelength and amplitude with our characteristics of waves. So uh, what students can do, they can manipulate the frequency, they can manipulate the amplitude tool, and they can see how that impacts our waves, and their frequency. You can slow it down can also change the amplitude. I can do a little mini wave, tiny little drop, or I can go big. You can also slow down. And just a really good tool for the students to kind of mess around with. I mentioned that there is a tool up here. So if you are looking at, let's say we're looking at wavelengths, we can measure the wavelength from one crest to the other. And of course, if you change the frequency or amplitude, that would also make some adjustments there. You can time how long it takes for our waves to travel across uh, the simulator. And another tool that students can use is checking out the water level. My students enjoyed this one when they were using the simulator. So lots of tools for students to play around with. 